Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. Proverbs chapter 25. These are also Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king and stand not in the place of great men. For better it is that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end. Therefore, when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another, lest he that heareth it put thee to shame, and thine infamy turn not away. A word a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver, as an earring of gold in an ornament of fine gold. So is a wise reprover upon an obedient ear, as the cold of snow in the time of harvest. So is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. Whoso boasteth himself of a false gift is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing is a prince persuaded, and a soft tongue breaketh the bone. Hast thy found honey, eat so much as it much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Withdraw thy foot from thy neighbor's house lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. A man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maul, and a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth, and a foot out of joint, as he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, and as vinegar upon Nitre, so is he that singeth songs to an heavy heart. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. The north wind driveth away rain, so doth an angry countenance, a backbiting tongue. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman and in a wide house. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. A righteous man falling down before the wicked is as a troubled fountain and a corrupt spring. It is not good to eat much honey for... It is not good to eat much honey, so for men to search their own glory is not glory. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Chapter 26 As snow is as snow in summer and as rain in harvest, so honor his, so honor is not seemly for a fool. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse ca cause less than cause less shall not come. 
a whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. <clears throat> he that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool cutteth off the feet and drinketh damage. The legs of the lame are not equal, so is a parable in the mouth of fools, as he that bindeth a stone in a sling. <clears throat> So is he that giveth honor to a fool, as a thorn goeth up into the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. The great God that formed all things both rewardeth the fool and rewardeth transgressors, as a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Cease thou a man wise in his own conceit. There is more hope of a fool than of him. The slothful man saith, There is a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. The slothful hideth his hand in his bosom. It grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit. Than seven men that can render a reason. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belonging not to him is like one that taketh a dog by the ears, as a man as a madman who casteth fire brands, arrows in death. <clears throat> so is the man that deceiveth his neighbor, and saith am not I in sport where no wood is, there is fire. Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So where there is no tailbear, the strife ceaseth. As coals are to burning coals, and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a tailbear are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Burning lips and a wicked heart are like a pot shared are like a pot shared covered with silver dross. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him when he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Chapter 27 Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. A stone is heavy, and the sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Wrath is cruel, and anger is outrageous. But who is able to stand before envy? Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. The full soul loatheth in honeycomb, but to the hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. As, it, as a bird that wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. Ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, so doth the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. Thine own friend and thy father's friend, forsake not, neither go into thy brother's house in the day of thy calamity, for better is a neighbor that is near than a brother far off. 
my son be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer them that reproacheth me. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice rising early in the morning, it shall be counted a curse to him, a contentual dropping in a very rainy day, and a contentious woman are, are alike. Whosoever hideth her hideth the wind, and the ointment of his right hand which berayeth itself. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof, so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored, as in water face answereth to face, to the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. As the fining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. For riches are not forever, and doth the crown endure to every, gender, to every generation. The hay appeareth, and the tender grass sheweth itself, and herbs of the mountains are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of the field. And thou shalt have goats' milk enough for thy food, for the food of thy household, and for the maintenance for thy maidens. May you all have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. Much love.